Well, Dayton police have made an arrest after the shooting death of a pregnant woman. Now, the news comes less than 24 hours after police cleared another man of the crime. Megan O'Rourke broke this story this morning on WDTN.com, and tonight she's live to tell us what led to the sudden developments in the case. Megan? I asked homicide detectives how confident they are that this is their guy. It's a question they were hesitant to answer, saying only time and ballistics tests will tell. But according to a witness who called police last night after seeing our story, this person of interest is the person who pulled the trigger. Who killed expectant mother Daylin Foster? That's the question Dayton homicide detectives have been trying to answer for a week now. We thought we had it done yesterday, and then, um, then it was like, you know, Taking a stomach punch, it sucked the air out of you. And then we got this thing last night, and so we're all holding our breath. On Tuesday, ballistics tests revealed the person police had been zeroing in on was not the shooter. But investigators didn't have to wait long for another big break. When they saw the news yesterday saying that that was not the person, they felt it was necessary to call because they wanted to bring justice to the mother of the child. Sergeant Richard Blommel says the tipster gave police detailed information about the shooter and where he and the weapon could be found. Within hours, officers had arrested the 20-year-old at his mother's apartment on Stewart Street on drug charges after they say they found heroin. A weapon was also recovered and is now being tested for DNA and to see if it's a match to the gun that fired the fatal shot. Two News broke the story of his arrest but is not releasing his name or showing his picture until he's charged pending the outcome of those tests. A person of interest, that's good. This afternoon, I talked to Daylin's father, David, and showed him a picture of the man police have in custody. When you see him and if this is the person responsible? Um, I don't have any anger. I've forgiven him because what awaits him, what awaits him is a lot worse than me or the community could ever do to this young man. David says he believes it works both ways. What people give is what they get back in life. A belief that's only been strengthened since Daylin's sudden death. With just them coming forward and the information that they shared, yeah, she's getting it back right now. Now, I checked with the Montgomery County Prosecutor's Office today, and aside from a few misdemeanors as a juvenile, this person of interest has no record to speak of. I'm Megan O'Rourke, 2 News, working for you.